today we welcome the new addition to our fleet, uh, Engine 29. This one is from Pierce, um, based out of Oregon, and we have uh, we actually received two of them. This one today, and then we have another one coming up next week. They've been under construction for about six months, and we've finally gotten to the point where they're ready to start going to work for the citizens of Gig Harbor. Today was a little traditional uh, wedding down ceremony. We have a blessing by the chaplain, and kind of thanking uh, uh, the community and everybody else for providing us with the new apparatus. The tradition is that we take the water from the old engine, move it to the new engine, allowing it to spill over the top, and uh, at that point we dry it off, and then uh, once we call it in service to our dispatch, we move it into the firehouse by pushing it in. A ceremony that goes back to the old days when uh, the fire wagons were horse-drawn. We simulate pushing it into the station since obviously the trucks are far too big to push anymore. This truck was slightly more than $500,000. With this purchase, we should be done buying new fire engines for at least the next eight years. We expect an engine at a volunteer station to last about 20 years, and an engine that's assigned to a career station, which is far busier, to last seven or eight, maybe nine years. Some of the new stuff on here is, uh, well, the higher horsepower engines, but also on this one we have a, a CAFS uh, foam system. So essentially it's a, a foam solution with air and we have a, it's called CAFS stream compressed air foam uh, solution. And what that does is just kind of, it's more efficient as far as putting fires out, um, having more, you know, just the way it applies it to the fire. It's more efficient than water alone. The one from this station will be used as our backup. So in time when this needs service or if something goes wrong, something needs fixing, we will put the, use that one for our backup. This will be the last uh, engine purchase that I'm involved in actually, so yeah, it's kind of exciting for me, kind of a melancholy sort of way. It's a beautiful truck. I think it'll serve this community well. You know, we're thankful to be able to provide a service and, you know, top of the line equipment. So we appreciate the support of the citizens uh, that we've enjoyed for 65 years now here at Gig Harbor Fire and Medic One.